How's it going, chat? Back here with Kodachrome now. We lost Foxy to Amateur Bracket. What? We lost to a Fox in the Amateur Bracket? We lost Foxy, the commentator, to go play his Amateur Bracket matches. Foxy's an Amateur? Amateur must be... S or the pools must have been stacked. I felt like there wasn't that many people at this one when I looked at the bracket. Was it like 40, 50 people in this one? Yeah, I think 50... Mid 50s, probably. Must have been a little top heavy, because I feel like Foxy was pretty good, and not that many people are familiar with Icy's. But oh, yeah. Yeah, here we lost are. to Lexor and Psycho. Psycho? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's tough. Surprise Psycho won that. They don't really have a lot of Ice Climbers in Iowa, but here we are with Naka versus Diggles, who is, I don't know. I don't know what Diggles is on the Iowa PR. I think they are they are on Iowa PR, like top five. I don't know. He's clearly good. Very close game with Naka so far. CC up smash. Beat ATM 3-0. That's the last set. Brock Pretty, in the 137. Pretty good. Very big Rick and Morty fan, apparently. Aren't we all? Deep down, for sure. Oh, Naga flubbing that punish there. Just missed the up smash. Oh, going for an up smash read there? That was insane. That's tough. Closing out game tough. one. Mission complete. Goes on the Iowa PR. Like five? Ready? Go! It's actually, I've just been informed, it's a very even matchup. Four, number four versus number four. Diggles is number four on the Iowa PR, so. But here we are on Marth's best counter pick in the matchup. And not, a, not the best FD Marth, but. What Marth isn't good on FD, am I right? Right, Drat? I don't really agree, honestly. <laughs> if I, I I hate to say it, I hate to be that guy. I don't think it's that big of an advantage. I can see why, obviously. Stuff like that happens. Stuff like the uh, the up airs just chaining forever. Uh, but it's not like Fox has no options here. Fox is rarely in a disadvantage. Fox does have a lot of the advantage, but I feel like, yeah, just like the grab follow-ups and all that stuff, and then being able to juggle Fox a lot easier is, is huge. But, but he can still kill off the top at 100. Can still kill very easily, yeah. Here we go. A little three-piece. That should be it Not if Naka can really. clean this up. Oh my gosh, drops it. Falls off stage there. Wow, that was a huge angle from Diggles there. Really clean. Just standing there. Marth's just standing there is one of the most menacing. What are you gonna do? Makes it back on stage. Side B huge. to stall. Oh. Huge side B. Still not enough to kill. Close it out though. I always love seeing foxes fall to their death while shooting at the lasers. Think about it. What was that gonna do? Just a little extra damage here and there. Sometimes it helps. I mean, just trying to be productive. Every stock. Especially on a counter pick. 
It's tough. Some foxes are just have such like a mental block on this stage. They just feel like some just feel like they just can't beat Mark on this stage. But yeah. Diggle's trying their best. Naka might make this back. 157, still not dead. Oh, oh the up throw oh. dare. Cheeky. Naka still somehow alive. He's getting back to ledge every time. I think these bar fillers just aren't enough. He's gonna have to go for something either. Naka just too prepared for the for the shielding at the ledge. He's mixing it up here. Oh. Trying to get an early kill again with an up tilt bear there. Rare down smash. Yeah, see this I understand why Bart's like this. Huge. Why people don't like that. Counter? That should be it. Oh, it doesn't get the dare. A little slow on grab and there. Yeah, Naka flubbing a lot of punishes throughout the set so far in games one and two. There we go. Close it out. He had enough window to where he didn't have to play perfectly. He had an extra stock to back. Stock to play with is huge for sure on that edge guard. Yoshis. So we do. Go, we were talking about this last time. Foxy thought Foxes should take them to Yoshis. Uh, I think Dreamland's probably the better option. Oh yeah, yeah. Cause, cause then Mark, Mark's punishes. It's a lot more difficult to get guaranteed follow-ups on anything yeah. on Dreamland. Cause you can't just get those free up tilts on the Dreamland platforms right. as you can on Yoshis. Yeah, obviously Fox can kill you incredibly fast on this stage, but Barth can just do whatever he wants through the, through the platforms. Just like that. Just a couple up air follow-ups on platforms and an F smash. Just... I don't remember what game one was. Uh, was Battlefield? Battlefield, probably. I think so. Battlefield, FD, Yoshi's. Still got Dreamland on the table, which is huge for Diggles, but... Still got Stadium and Fountain. Going for the refresh instead of the Mark Killer this time. I feel like that's a little bit of a better option. Giving yourself more variety on coverage. Great spacing. Huge, yeah. Avoiding that fair and coming in with the bear there. LB's not enough to go. I was also talking about this with uh, with Foxy, but I feel like F smash, just raw F smash against Fox, isn't that bad of an option. No. Because Fox is fast enough, he's going to punish you on anything you throw out. So you might as well throw out the big one. For sure. And so, then sometimes Foxes can get greedy, like when you're in the corner or this or that, trying to put pressure on you, coming in with nares or dares or anything, running shine, stuff like that. And then you just throwing out these large hit boxes can catch them sometimes. Yeah. Oof! Wow! That's why you take the that's why you take the Yoshis. Early kill. Here we go. The tipper right back. Oh, not that's enough right still now. Still not enough. Knock a little slow off the ledge. Sour spot, up tilt. There we go. That should be enough. Clean one stock lead here for Naka. I would be thoroughly surprised if we don't see, if Naka takes this game, if we don't see Dreamland after this. God, imagine. A lot of damage. Clean. Only 8% on that second to last stock. Yeah, I'd imagine Dream Land's the player. Yup, that's where we're going. <laughs> Not on stage. <laughs> <laughs> on stage. <laughs> oh no, the down throws? Oh, the down throw dare? I feel like that's a super underrated option by most marks because I feel like a lot of them really go for the up throw every time. If you can get that tech chase for the early percents, oh, yeah. oh my goodness. Oh, the reverse. If you got the reverse, that would be huge. 
just enough space on that recovery. And I also think down throw and back throw look so similar for Marth that it can be a little a bit of a mix-up. For sure, like, mixing up fast fallers, tech animations and stuff like that, they're DIing one way and then getting caught the other way. Letting it rip with an F smash. No jump here. Makes it back. Didn't go for the refresh there, but it's a taunt. A taunt. A taunt, <laughs> a taunt here. Taunt down 2 1. I mean, it is what it is. Feeling yourself a little bit. With all the Marth killers, you think we're going to see the uh, the light shield animation that Fox is like to do? Oh, the, the jerkin? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no jerkin right now, probably. I mean, one more stock, maybe? Maybe. Oh, no. Oh, that was so close to such an easy, easy gimp there at the end. Naka missing the dash on the grab there. He just, Ethan just moves so slither. It's hard to pin him down. Oh my goodness. I he also, that's, that's, it's, it's tough in this matchup against Ethan, because he, you know, obviously you want to take him here because of what Marth can usually do under platforms. But Ethan can do a lot on platforms, too. And then commanding 3-1 to one lead here. Yeah, Ethan's movement's looking very, very clean right now. I would not, I would not want to be this fox. Oh, oh, he goes for the dancing goes, blade, too. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely brutal. I don't think he does that if he didn't get taunted. 